Playmakers. Playmakers. Okay. Out of my wrist, count of the spinning. Man at the coop, oh, mine with no tennis. Chop out the top, hit it the limit. I got some What's up, y'all? Trey be dipping in the building. You know what time it is. Got the, got the loot looking very splendiferous. It's very rare that you catch the sun beaming on that joint like this. That color is just crazy. Anyway, that's not what you clicked the video for. You know what you clicked the video for, let's, so let's get right into it. Before we get too far into today's video, I do want to say congratulations to our uh, raffle ticket winner. Um, Cassandra Robertson uh, actually was the winner of the actual tail light. I did get them um, wet sanded and refinished, so they look extra glossy, you know what I'm saying? um those are pretty much ready to send out so if you're watching this these should be sending out soon yeah so congratulations to her um i did pick two other or i'm sorry i did pick three other winners um two of the other winners won shirts and the third winner won um my heads up display if you didn't win you're still a winner in my book and threat not i will have more uh raffles in the future i can't say exactly when but they will it will be a continuous thing so be on the lookout for the next one all right i lied i need to get a little little sneak peeks what you doing kenny <laughs> that's right work cold work. busted right. <laughs> close your mouth <laughs> the bridgestone um yeah man we had mnr dizips and um today's video I know a couple of you saw the reveal in um, the barnyard find video, but if those of you who didn't watch the video or if you didn't make it to the end, this is my new Honda Prelude, my guy. 1996 gold joint. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna give you guys a little walk around and give you a little insight into what I have in store. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick little walk around. You know what I'm saying? Uh oh. Alright, so like I said, what we have here is a 96 Honda Prelude. Manual, of course. Tan interior. Now, <clears throat> uh, those of you who did watch the other video know the backstory behind this. I did buy this for my boy Tevin. Um, we both went down to pick it up, but I, I bought it from him and he did an amazing job cleaning this thing up man the seats were i mean anybody who knows tan interior knows it can get really filthy and um he, he did a really good job cleaning the seats um those of you watching i will be pulling this tan interior i'm not a fan personally so if anybody is looking for some tan interior it is for sale i will be pulling it and i will be storing it until i can sell it Everything is pretty much in, in, in good shape. Um, this one back seat, <laughs> we tried a little experiment when we first got it and tried to try to uh, see if we could restore the seats with this uh, fabric paint. And you can see the color of the lid almost kind of matches almost perfectly, but it came out a lot darker. So that's probably the only thing that's, uh, that's not in the best shape. But other than that, the rest is pretty good. <laughs> Has an EO cluster, which you kind of, probably can't see and um let's pop the trunk let's see what else we got um the previous owner left some goodies back here looks like it's a dizzy the old engine harness that looks like a brake caliper and with an upper control arm we got that this one does also have that uh third brake light on the on the spoiler which is pretty cool i don't think i've ever had a lube with that on it and then let's show y'all what's under the hood you know what i'm saying oh lord baby ain't nothing in there <laughs> the only thing worth looking at in here is the solid motor mount in the back I'm sure the previous owner probably meant to take that out, but it's mine now. But yeah, man. So this is pretty much what we're working with. Now, 
I'm gonna take y'all inside and show you uh, the parts I have in store for this bad boy. All right, so those of you who, like I said, again, who watched my other video, you guys know that uh, I found a barnyard-ish type prelude find. And um, let me see if I can get some light going. And it had an H22 in it. So I bought it for a pretty good deal. I bought the whole car, actually. I was gonna part it out, but I just, it wasn't much on it that was worth really snatching aside from this motor and a few small other things. But H22A, which if I'm not mistaken is the JDM. So this bad boy probably has 200 and what is it? 200, and, 200 horsepower, 140 torque, something like that. I might be wrong, but it is the black top, even though it has a red top. Um, and I know it's not the H22 Euro R because obviously the engine code, but then um, you can see that the um, intake manifold is not a Euro R. So it was an automatic. So if anybody needs a, <laughs> I doubt it, but if anybody needs an automatic transmission, let me know. I'll probably be uh, selling that as well. If I don't take it back to like JDM warehouse or something, try to sell it to them. When I tell you I have parts for days laying around, I got, JDM black housings. I gotta restore. I got all man. I, I can't. We'll be here all day if I showed you everything. I got my old steering wheel, which will be going on the new loop. If I can. My old steering wheel. That'll be going on the loop. What else we got? Oh, I ain't even show you the best part. Y'all didn't think this was gonna be no regular degular, did you? You didn't think it was gonna be no regular degular, did you? No, sir. This right here is the 850 Fab Turbo Manifold for the H22. Man, this thing is beautiful. So, what's special about this is this manifold allows you to keep power steering and AC, that's right, AC baby, turbo AC car on the way, you hear me, yay, that thing is nice though man, Um, from what I know they're not good for a whole lot of horsepower in comparison to like say the manifold that Mike made me on my prelude, it's not going to produce that much power, Um, but that's not really the point for this build, the point for this build is to have AC and power steering and turbo. Uh, along with that, I forgot to show you guys this. Let's bring this in there. When I say goodies for days, I mean goodies <laughs> for days. My God. When I tell you the list of parts goes on and on and on and on, I'm serious. I mean, literally at this point, from all the upgrading that I've done over the years building my Prelude, I have literally parts just laying around. So that's kind of what inspired the build. I just looked and I'm like, man, I have like radiators, like injectors. I got, I still have an entire intercooler kit. Like, it's like, bro, I have literally everything I need to build an entire another prelude. So that's what we're gonna do. Now, um, I will say this. I mean, I'm sure there's miscellaneous parts that I'm gonna be missing. I know that the last major piece to the puzzle is I do need a Honda S300, preferably a V3. So if any of you guys are watching this and you're selling your Honda or you know where I can get one, let me know. I think right now, um, directly from Honda, I believe it's their own back order, if I'm not mistaken. But that's pretty much the last major thing I need. Oh, I think I also need, because this is an OBD2 car, I will need a OBD2 to OBD1 conversion harness as well. But that's pretty much it, man. I mean, we're pretty much ready to, to, to get 
cracking. <laughs> man, this thing is so nice, man. Anyway, those of you who watched the barnyard find video, um, I did mention that basically this entire build is going to be special to me only because not because it's another turbo build but because those of you who have been with me since like day one you guys have seen me like upgrade parts and switch parts and add parts but you weren't there from the very beginning like from start to finish and then I think when I started my channel my prelude was already built and tuned and only thing that I had to do left was like basically um what just paint it or flex it rather I, I only had to auto flex it that was pretty much it add the wheels and I was already pretty much like 80% done with the project so this time around you guys will pretty much be able to see everything from literally from this point forward literally I have done nothing to the car but a little bit of body work which you guys don't want to see that anyway that kind of stuff is kind of boring but um yeah man I'm pretty much gonna be turbo in this prelude building this prelude from scratch with you guys from start to finish so you guys will really have opportunity to dive in and learn ask questions along the way and like a lot of the questions that people ask me you guys will be able to actually see it from start to finish and i think that's important i know a lot of you are um interested in boosting your prelude or even sometimes it's maybe it's uh maybe some of you civic guys who are just you know the application would be similar for those of you who are like H swap you know what I'm saying so kind of similar but yeah man I'm excited hope you guys are excited let's get it so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video smack that like button man turn on the notifications I don't know YouTube is like broken right now bro. I need you guys to there's like a little notification bell I need you guys to go hit that notification bell so that when my posts go up, you guys can see it. I appreciate all the support that you guys give me, but I need you to hit that notification bell. Other than that, man, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, you see that right there? Yeah, that's the subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Playmakers. Okay. Out of my wrist, kind of been spinning. Man at the coupe, mine with no tennis. Chop out the top, hit it in the limit. I got some.